So I'm sure you're wondering what's inside the one pie here. So obviously we have a Raspberry Pi. Here's one with the side taken off. The whole thing just nicely slides out like that. And there we have um, a Raspberry Pi 2 on the bottom there. You can see it's a 2 by the RAM module on the rear of the board. Um, Preloaded 4 gigabyte um, SD card ready in there. We've got a screen here connected via I2C and the push button. And on the top here we have the main turn it around the main Emon Pi board. We've got RFM 69 CW RF module, an 80 mega 328 um, Arduino compatible 8-bit microprocessor. And uh, this is the GPIO header. Useful thing to note here is E1 Pi has got um, a GPIO um, extender here, so you could fit a GPIO header, solder it into there, and then add other Raspberry Pi compatible um, peripherals onto the GPIO, as long as they don't interfere with um, the port GPIO pins the E1 Pi uses. This is all available on the technical wiki. This is a serial UART header to enable the, the um, my AVR chip to be reprogrammed via a USB to UART cable. Um, unpopulated here, we have um, an EEP ROM, which can be used to uh, populate the device tree um, on the Raspberry Pi with the MonPi um, setup. That's something we haven't explored yet for future um, expansion. And there's also an on-off key and transmitter module here, which again we, we, we haven't taken full advantage of, but it's, it's there if um, you'd like to use it. And a status LC, a status LED. And that's connected onto the Raspberry Pi. So there we go.